Good afternoon. My name is Fumihiro Sakahira, and I'm an engineer at Kozo Keikaku Engineering Incorporated. The title of this presentation is Generating Falsifiable Hypothesis Through Agent Based Simulation of Population Replacement During Agricultural Spread in Ancient Japan. This is an outline of today's presentation. I will discuss the strong point of agent-based modeling with regard, with, with, with regard to false fire civil through at hypothesis generation in ancient historical studies. In particular, I will consider a method for generating working hypotheses that lead to the discovery and analysis of new remains by consider what kind of archaeological evidence would verify the hypothesis. As an example, I will consider the spread of agriculture and its effect on population increase in ancient Japan. The hypothesis, uh, the hypothesis is that the major player in agriculture were native people. This hypothesis can be uh, verified by discovering bone remains of people with native traits together with artifacts establishing the ex existence of agriculture. So it is the background to the present today. There is a need for more feedback between archaeologists and modelists. Due to that, we need comprehensive textbooks and handbooks for archaeologists on stimulation techniques. We also need ABM software that can be easily used by archaeologists. In addition, we think there is a need to by directionally link the result of ABM and field research. To do that, we propose the following method. First, we generate a hypothesis based on which, uh, on which social phenomena predict by the simulation agree with historical fact. We, then, we then consider what kind of archaeological artifact from what time period can verify the hypothesis. In particular, an advantage of ABM is that we can attach to attributes such as archaeological uh, anthropological morphology, DNA, and culture to the agent. We then observed the composition ratio of each agent attribute as the result of the scenario simulation in chronological order. This allows us to propose a working hypothesis that can lead the discovery and analysis of new remain by consider what kind of archaeological artifact would verify the hypothesis. This is, uh, that, that is simulation can be input for field research. I would like to give a brief historical context to present study. About 2,000 years ago, rice agriculture began for the first time in Japan. The Yayoi culture was established following the integration of native hunter-gatherer traditional with agriculture introduced by Chinese Korean immigrants. Anthropological morphology studies have shown that the human bone from the Yayoi period differ from those from pre previous period. Therefore, Chinese Korean immigrants are thought to have, have had a large genetic influence on the Yayoi people. 
So the presence of immigrants are important in the formation of Yayoi farming culture. However, a large question remains concerning Japan anthropology and archaeology. At the, uh, at the end of the German period, which was just before the Yayoi period, the population of native people was larger than that of immigrants. However, 300 years later, the situation was reversed. So, the most controversial question is who played the major role in establishing a farming culture during the Yayoi period, native people or immigrant? In an attempt to answer this question, we use an ABM approach. This slide shows an outline of the ABM model. The, uh, the, uh, this model considers the fusion of genetic traits under an uh, increasing population and the diffusion of agriculture and mitochondrial DNA. Agents were created in the uh, two-dimensional uh, abstract space to represent in individuals in the Yayoi period. This table shows the variable parameters for agents, such as sex, uh, life expectancy, food production method, and so on. Traits in were inherited from both parents when, when a new agent was created. Mitochondrial DNA was inherited only from the mother. The simulation model included three rules. In the agriculture diffusion rule, agriculture knowledge was obtained either from a neighbor or inherited from a parent. In the marriage rule, a male was married to female randomly selected from neighboring females. In the movement rule, each agent moved in a random direction. Here, you can see the parameter for our simulation model. For all combination of parameters, the total number of simulation was 441. Each case was run 10 times. This slide shows the framework. The, 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 simula the simulation input were fact cons concerning late German period. With regard to, to, regard to gener, genetic trait, native were majority and uh, immigrant were a uh, minority. The frequency of type N uh, mitochondrial DNA was low. The simulation constraints used were fact regarding the mid Yayoi period. At this time, native traits were minority and immigrant traits were majority. In mitochondrial DNA, frequencies, frequency of type N was high, varying the diffusion rate for agriculture allowed us to investigate who played the major role in Yayoi agriculture spread in northern Kyushu. We then generated a hypothesis and evaluated the evidence supporting it. So I will now show you some simulation results. The left graph shows the ratio of people with the immigrant trait 300 years later. The simulation results are grouped into three categories, categories based on a slow, medium, and fast diffusion rate for agriculture. Each dot represents one line. Over 80% of these data points are consistent with the archaeological records. It can be seen that 
as the agricultural diffusion speeds incre in increase, so does the percentage of people with immigrant <laughs> trait. The late light graph shows the time evolution of the composition ratio of farmers for the case of slow diffusion rate. This is easy to see that immigrant or mixed people were the primary farmers throughout all stages of the Yayoi period. In other words, immigrants played the major role in the spread of agriculture. However, uh, this right graph, this, uh, this uh, the right graph in this slide show the time evol evolution of composition rate of farmer in the case of the first diffusion rate. In this case, you can see that Simulation predicts the native people were, in fact, the primary farmer in the early stage of the Yayoi period, and so played a major role in the spread of agriculture. As a verifiable material, about two false fiable hypothesis, our simulation presents the bone remain of people with native traits, along with artifacts verify the existence and agri uh, agriculture in the area stage of Yayoi period. At this slide is the uh, same, at, so uh, to omit it. Conclusion, uh, by assi assigning attributes such as morphology, DNA, food production method, and culture to multiple a a agents, and simulation, sim simulating the component ratio for each attribute as a function of time, we were able to present materials based on the observed pattern of combination that could verify the hypothesis. We show working hypothesis based on ABM results that may lead to the discovery new remain. By reanalyzing the remain based on the simulation result, we show that by directional simulation and field research is possible. Future work, we need to identify which rules and parameters are important for the classification of different scenario and hypothesis. We need to identify which microscopic phenomena in any given situation step, simulation step, can produce dif different results even under the same condition. For these fa factor, Bayesian approximation, decision tree for simulation log, and random forest algorithm can be used to be to, to separate rule and parameter combination. And finally, using the mes me method described in this presentation, we pre previously determined the effect of the spread of agriculture on people change in the medieval Okinawa island in Japan. Thank you very much for your attention. Any comment and question are welcomed. But if possible, speak please very slowly and very simply, because <laughs> I'm not good at English. <laughs> Sorry.